Okay, this is a uh, tool review of the uh, Harbor Freight Drill Master 18 volt impact driver, item number 67028. All right, so this is more of like a uh, a user review after it's not an unboxing review or anything like that because I've, I've owned this uh, impact driver for about two years and um, um, I'll be honest with you guys uh, I bought this about two years ago because honestly it was the only thing I could afford at the time um, I wanted to buy an impact driver but I didn't have a lot of money to spend and chances are if you're looking at a Harbor Freight video you're probably mentioned that you're pretty much in the, in the same boat I, as I was about two years ago so um, I think the total buy-in when I bought this was around 45 bucks because uh, you know you buy the bare tool and then you have to buy the battery and then and then, then the the, uh, the charger. So I think that the total investment was about 45 bucks. Um, so I've had it for about two years, and uh, you know, and again, you know, with Harbor Freight, you know, set your expectations accordingly. You know, you're not buying a DeWalt or a Bosch or a, or a Milwaukee or anything like that. If you were, you'd be spending a, a quite a bit more money. So, you know, it's not perfect, but, you know, at the end of the day, it does serve the purpose for, it, for what it does. Um, um, so, again, I've, I've had it for two years. I've used it quite a bit. Um, and... Um, so for the most part, you know, you know, the biggest testament, you know, it's two years old and, and it's still running. Um, the only thing I've noticed with it is uh, um, when you pull the trigger. You can probably hear it. Um, it's almost like a squealing sound or a, uh, a whistling sound coming from it uh, when it's when, only when it's in, in free mode. It never does. It never did that in the past. Probably in the first, you know, for the first year and a half, it didn't do it. But in the last three or four months, it's it's uh, been getting progressively louder. So I think it's just a sign of it, of its imminent failure. Um, so, but again, if uh, the tool fails, you know, I think the bare tool is eighteen is eighteen dollars. Um, what you know. If, if and when it does fail, um, am I going to replace it? Um, probably not, because what I've done is uh, I'm in a little bit better situation So these days. So um, I bought a Bosch 12-volt lithium-ion impact driver. And uh, even though this is only 12 volts, um, this thing absolutely blows the doors off of that. Um, not only is it compact, you know, that's the size of my hand. Um, it's actually about the size of my hand, so it's, it's very small. It's compact, and uh, it gets in a lot, lot tighter spaces and anything like that. But I don't want to talk about the Bosch. Um, sure, it's about the uh, the Harbor Freight. Um, so, as far as features on the tool, what, you know, it has a uh, the um, the light up for the uh, LED, and it actually shines up towards a bit. Um, Honestly, you know, this is kind of an, uh, a cool feature as far as a marketing thing, but as far as actually in the physical, in the real world, I don't know. I never use it. I always have it off because for the most part, I don't work in the dark. Um, I always kind of like to work in well-lit areas, and um, for the most part, I never use a flashlight. Um, so, um, what? as far as drawbacks of the tool is probably the biggest thing. And it, it's it's uh, it's physical size, and again, this tool is probably I've had it for at least two and a half years now. Um, so the uh, you have to look at the market where it was two and a half years ago, where this is kind of like the average size of the impact drivers, uh, even like some of the other ones. But since then, you know, you know, technology has, has changed, and in the uh, si the physical footprint of the uh, of the tools have come down. You know, just as a comparison, as that Bosch. So, you know, the only drawback is um, it's kind of sometimes the size gets in the in the way of this thing. Um, it does, you know, feel good in the hand and everything else. It is pretty well balanced for the size of it. But you know, at the end of the day. 
you do uh, notice the, the size of it. Um, one thing about, you know, uh, as far as the feature, because of the size, is the battery swivels on the base. Um, so if you're in a tight spot, you can actually swing it right around, which I've actually had to use before. Um, just because uh, working in a tight space, I can get it in there. So that, that is one nice advantage of it. Um, if there is a drawback on it, and uh, hold on, guys. If there is one drawback on it, I would say. Alright guys, uh, if there is one drawback on the tool, it's, it's the batteries itself. Um, it uses the old NICAD, NICAD batteries. Um, the architecture of the battery is pretty simple itself. Um, it's nothing really crazy on the batteries. Um, they do have you know, a relatively short run time if you're going to be using it. Um, so if you are going to buy these tools, Make sure you have enough batteries in your arsenal because uh, especially when using it for an impacting where, where it's a high draw, um, you're going to go through the batteries pretty quick. Um, so which leads into the other part of the uh, of the drawback of these tools is the batteries and the chargers. Um, so this is the charger that you're going to get when you buy these tools and the charger is very basic. It's not a smart charger or anything like that. It's essentially when the charge is running, it's a uh, it's applying voltage in an amp at a constant rate. And what will happen is you need to uh, take the uh, charger off the battery after four hours max. Because if you don't, the charger will continue to run and it'll overheat the batteries. It'll boil the battery and uh, it'll blow off the cells, and then the batteries are shot. And there's nothing you can do about it. Um, so what I've done to uh, circumvent it is I've actually uh, bought this timer from Harbor Freight and the, uh, the timer is set to run for about 15 minutes every day and uh, I think it's around 7 or 8 o'clock at night and what it, essentially it, I've done is I've created a trickle charger that keeps the batteries uh, topped off at 18 volts. It only runs for 15 minutes a day and then it shuts off and then it's done. So. Um, this is kind of a necessity if you're not uh, going to be devoted as far as plugging these battery these chargers in and taking them off the charger because if not you're gonna, you're going to blow through the batteries pretty quick. And the, uh, the last thing about these chargers is it's not a quick charger either. It's 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 uh, it's a four hour recovery time if you go to uh, if you uh, have to recharge uh, the battery from a uh, completely worn down state so that's why you always want to have uh, plenty of batteries um, uh, to go because you know a four hour recovery time uh, let's face it in, in these in these days that's pretty unacceptable so but again with the price point of what you guys are going to pay set your uh, expectations accordingly so if you're a you know professional con you know, laborer or constructor con you know, somebody dealing in construction this is not going to be definitely the tool. This is definitely not going to be the tool for you, because uh, if you're relying on this to make money um, in your trade, you'll go bankrupt. Um, but if it's somebody that uh, just going to do it for some average use around the house, yeah, go ahead and grab it for the occasional use or something like that. So, um, so I figure I'd show you some, just to give you an example on the performance. Uh, hope, pretty sure this is locked in. Yep, it's locked in. All right, so I have uh, four screws. I have eight screws here, and uh, just to give you an example. So, there you go. That's a uh, 
kind of an example of what you're gonna get for the performance on it and just to let you know that battery is fully charged um, you know it's it's fully charged I didn't use it before uh, I did this test or anything like that and uh, here's the Bosch right just for an example just for a comparison and again this is this is 12 volts and it's a different battery technology and everything else so but that's the difference between a hundred and fifty dollar tool and a forty five dollar tool so in in closing um, if you're looking for an inexpensive um, buy-in to uh, get into the uh, the impact driver market and you want to do something just for occasional use or something like that um, I would recommend it and uh, and uh, you know it's going to get the job done you know for light duty use and you know if you're just doing some light assembly at, in, in your garage or anything like that you know it'd be, it would be ideal for doing drywall work and stuff like that but uh, anything prior like if you want to build a deck with it or do any framing like that it's, it's you're probably going to be in for a long day so but there it is uh, Harbor Freight Drill Master Cordless Impact Drill Driver um, if there's any questions or comments, go ahead and uh, fire away in the comment section. I'll be more than happy to answer them for you. Thanks.